The million dollar question, how do you make money online? Now there's many different ways of making money online. I mean, many, many, many different ways of making money online. I'm gonna be talking about specific ones that I've done. I'm gonna be going in order of, actually no, I am not gonna go in any specific order. I'm just gonna talk about them. I'm gonna talk about the pros and cons. Then you can be the judge of what you think that you would like to do or not to do. So number one, how to make money online. Like I said, no particular order. Number one, affiliate marketing. Now this is how I actually personally got started in the online space about ooh, 12 years, not 10, 12, something like that. I started off with ClickBank and JVZoo, the affiliate marketing. So what affiliate marketing is, and this is primarily for digital products. You can do affiliate marketing obviously for physical products like Amazon, Amazon links, uh, but those are low, low, very small average order size unless you're moving like TVs, etc. But for the most part, affiliate marketing, I started off with ClickBank. And so what affiliate marketing is, is you drive traffic to an offer. Let's say somebody has a digital product online, you drive traffic to the offer and that company or individual gives you a commission fee, right? You're, you're pretty much salesperson. And so the commission fees on some of these digital products might be 20, 30, 40, you know, anywhere I've seen them from 10% up to 90%. And what's great about this is you don't need a business. You don't need to worry about customer support. You don't need to worry about anything. You don't need to worry about funnels. Your only job in affiliate marketing is driving traffic towards that offer so you can get your commission split. Then the question comes in is like, wait a second. How do I get traffic? Well, this is where your skill set comes in. You know, back in the day, we used to do web 2.0 properties and you can game SEO for, for Google quite easier. Or you can game SEO for YouTube quite easier. It's much more difficult right now. So that is, though, a very simple thing that you can start. You can start doing affiliate marketing, nothing stopping. You can go to ClickBank right now and find the offers that you like. You can post it on Facebook. You can post it on Twitter. Uh, you can start doing, you know, creating your own website, driving traffic to your website. You can start driving traffic from all different social media platforms, but the name of the game is you pick a offer, you drive traffic and you get your commission split. What are the pros? No upfront cost, pretty much a sweat equity. You got to build out the traffic sources. Um, you have no business you have to worry about. You have no employees you got to worry about. You don't have to worry about logistics, returns or customer support. Pretty much your job is driving traffic and getting your commission split. What are the cons? Uh, it's short half-life for a lot of these affiliate products. Number two, you're not building a business. Uh, number three, it is very seasonal. Uh, number four is the same time that you're putting into affiliate marketing, you could be putting into your own product. Now, mind you, mind you, I think affiliate marketing, understanding how marketing works is a great way for somebody to start who's never done marketing before. That's why I personally started. Okay, so that's number one, affiliate marketing. Number two, making money online is e-commerce, so a physical product. Now, e-commerce is so easy these days, right? You pretty much have e-commerce in a box. And so what you can do for e-commerce, here's one of the easiest ways to set up an e-commerce company. And I'm actually thinking about doing another one soon. Don't know yet. Uh, I'm still on the edge. Anyways, set up your store on Shopify. Super easy. It's like 30 bucks a month. Is like an e-commerce ecosystem in a box for 30 bucks a month. They're amazing. Then set up your Amazon store, which pretty much cost you nothing. And then what you can do, <laughs> so here's a little trick. What you can do is you can go to AliExpress. So not Alibaba. Alibaba's for the big wholesale orders. AliExpress is kind of like the Amazon of Asia, but not really, kind of. You can go to AliExpress and you can find products. So here's a little tip for you to learn. You can go to Amazon and you can look at the, te uh, the, the best sellers on Amazon. So you can pick by category electronics, books, fashion, jewelry. You can look at all these different categories. You can figure out what you like, what you don't like. You see what's hot and what's not. You can go to AliExpress and see, is there similar products on AliExpress? And so what you can do is right in AliExpress, you can use, they always use WeChat. So go on WeChat, talk to them, and they'll send you samples of their product towards you. Now, mind you, it's not many, it's a couple, but still a couple of free samples. They'll send you samples to your house. Take those samples, Put them on your Shopify store, put them on your Amazon store and start marketing it. But then again, you got to figure out your traffic sources, right? 
SEO, content marketing, pay traffic, Facebook, YouTube, Google, uh, referral marketing, etc. But e-commerce is another way that you can make money online. So what are the pros? You're building your own company, you're building your own brand, uh, and you're working for yourself. Cons. It is difficult. It's expensive to get the proper traffic sources going towards that. And the most difficult thing, depending on what kind of e-commerce product that you have, if you have multiple SKUs with different sizes or different colors and products, the supply chain, the logistics get really complicated uh, going from China to, for example, your shipping fulfillment center like Shipwire and Shop. So that gets confusing, but it's doable. Um, I'm very bullish. I think e-commerce is great. Number three would be a technology slash software company online. Now, this is probably the hardest out of all of them. Um, that is you create a software or you white label a software and you are providing that software to either B2B or B2C. Um, personally, if I had to pick, I would do B2B over B2C. I think B2B sales are way easier. The sales cycle is longer, but the retention rate, the LTV of your customers is much higher. Your CAC to LTV ratio is much better. Uh, and it's just way more focused as opposed to a, a front facing consumer product. The question is, and what do you build? Well, that's up to you. You can figure out. There's so many different types of SaaS technology companies and software companies out there. So that's number three. So what are the pros and cons of uh, of a SaaS slash software company? Pros, if you get the ball rolling and if you get really good uh, monthly recurring subscription model, it is pretty much a statistically, mathematically guaranteed business. Um, it's easier to scale this way. And if you are looking for long-term exit plan, more more and more investors rather buy that than some other type of investment. They, they rather buy a SaaS business than let's say a transactional business. Cons, it's ungodly difficult to build a SaaS company. Uh, it's un, it's ungodly difficult to build a technology company. And so you're, it's a, it's a, it's a big uphill battle that needs a lot, for the most part, needs a lot of upfront capital costs to build a SaaS company, okay? So those are three. Those are affiliate marketing, uh, number one. Number two is e-commerce. Number three is a SaaS slash software technology company. And those are like the top three ones I would focus on. The other ones are like, I don't know, I wouldn't personally waste your time with them. You can get like online consulting. You can do some white label selling of some other people's products, um, you can do selling ads, but if you're looking for something that's a increasing your skill set, if you're looking then for something that will create a brand for you, if you're looking for something that has a potential to exit, then yeah, I would focus on e-commerce. I would focus on a SaaS company and that's pretty much it. Those are my, this is, this is where I would focus online. And if I had to do it all over again, like I said, I'm actually thinking about starting another e-commerce. If I had to do it all over again, I'll do an e-commerce company. I would find a very interesting product. Now, the product is not the moat at all. The product is a commodity because anyone can commoditize your product. The, pro the moat is your brand. I'll double down and focus on the brand equity that you're building. What kind of brand are you building that people know, like, and trust? And so I would focus on an e-commerce company, find something that has really good fat margins, like pre-tax are like 30 to 40% with these margins. Start off small, like I mentioned, go to Shopify, then go to Amazon, and then figure out niche market, uh, niche distribution sites that can go buy some targeted traffic, do a little bit campaigns. Now, obviously my favorite for long-term thinking is build a long tail SEO strategy, both YouTube SEO, Google SEO, and voice SEO right now, and build that out for two years, a super long tail strategy, so you can get sustainable, intent keyword research or intent search volume towards your product as opposed to let's say uh, social media which is not intent search that's passive and so those are my kind of tips when uh, different business models are online um, affiliate SaaS, and then e-commerce all right guys if you have a question for me leave a comment below this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel talk to you guys soon peace